The most common complaint that I've heard over the years has to do with starting the thing up from a, from a basic beginning. Um, and it's a common problem where people get everything ready, the battery is installed in the unit, everything is correct, and they leave the battery cover off. Uh, and if you try to start the unit with the battery cover off, it will not start. And this is the point at which I usually start getting phone calls. Um, if you were to look inside the battery cover, you would see a little small black item right here, which is a magnet. Uh, inside of the cover, there is a switch that that magnet operates uh, that was put there to uh, satisfy certain safety requirements. And so the cover must be on for the thing to start. Okay. Uh, there are two labels saying Battery cover must be on to start, one on the outside, one on the inside, to try to help remind people. Um, but it's still probably the number one cause of failure. This is a common problem that people have where they figure out that they need to change the voltage, perhaps. And so they'll come up and press voltage, which is what you're supposed to do. It'll select it and tell it what you currently have. And then they will either raise or lower the voltage to what they think they need. And they forget to press enter. Okay? They go start electrofishing uh, later on. They stop for lunch. They come back after lunch. And if you look at the voltage, You'll see it's just what it used to be before they started. They forgot to press enter, and if you don't press enter, it doesn't accept the change. The third most common mistake made when out electrofishing is thinking that the quick setup has selected the ideal fishing conditions. Here's how you run through quick setup. Push menu, arrow up one, press enter, follow the instructions, and then activate the pole switch. This will select a voltage which is approximately, uh, should put you in the ballpark, um, but you will likely need to adjust settings from there. This is a fourth uh, most common problem that I see with these units coming in to uh, repair. Uh, this wouldn't be true only with this unit, but with all of our electrofishers, which would be holes in the case that have, or cracks that have either uh, worn or been knocked into these covers. Typically on this particular unit, that would take the form of holes up in these corners or the switch assembly knocked off the top. Uh, I've seen all manner of repair of these, everything from duct tape to glue to uh, almost everything uh, that you can think of, and none of it is waterproof, which is the problem. Okay, this is, this is the fifth most common problem that we see coming into repairs. Uh, which has nothing to do with the electrofishing uh, equipment itself. It has to do with the auxiliary equipment. Uh, in this case, your anode rings. Uh, um, here I have three examples of anode rings. Two of them are, are used. Uh, one of them is not. Um, what happens over time with these older aluminum rings is that they grow an oxide on them which effectively insulates them out of the water. Uh, and given time and lack of maintenance, they will uh, uh, eventually be ineffective. You won't be able to cu couple any electricity to the water. This one is severely damaged and uh, has been repaired a few times and probably just needs to be replaced. Uh, you can test these uh, rings using a very simple instrument like a meter that you can get at Radio Shack or Sears or someplace for 10, 20 bucks or less. Uh, and you can set it up. Uh, on the ohm scale and simply measure these rings. I have mine set up here 
such that you can hear it if it, uh, it gets continuity. And this is what it should sound like if you have a good ring that has good continuity and it's working. Some of these older rings that haven't been cleaned well, as you can see, have no continuity. This particular ring will not work for you for electrofishing, nor will this one, as the metal has been pretty much uh, coated up by oxide. And uh, these two are particularly probably beyond repair or salvage. Um, if you don't want to have to service your equipment as much, uh, you might consider moving up to their newer rings, which are made out of stainless steel and don't oxidize like the older ones.